Good evening. This is Peter Lord. Say, would you be inclined to give your attention tonight to the subject of murder? Yeah. Well, you don't have to do anything. No, really. Except follow the thread of story. Just surrender yourselves to a strange tale of murder. Listen, my friends, to the mystery playhouse. Take you backstage to one of those little secondary vaudeville theaters. The home of one night stands, stay grease paint, half hearted audiences, and struggling performers. The world of comics, street men, chorus girls, and tennis. A world of make believe, yes, but with a harsh reality of the everyday world in the background. And it's accompanying chorus of jealousies. Passions and disappointments. Yes, disappointments. A woman opens the door of her dressing room, then comes quickly down the iron stairs and crosses to the stage door. The manager of the theater calls out to her. May! May, where are you going? Oh. Well, what's with the street clothes? You're on in about 15 minutes. Not me. Now, wait a minute. Look, Mr. Walton, just let me get out of now, here. Now, hold on, baby. Take it easy. But I just, just want... calm down. Relax. Now, what's the trouble? I'm through. I'm done. Oh. Another fight with Al, huh? Just don't mention that guy to me. May, you got to use your head. You can't walk out like this. It ain't professional. Oh, please, don't hand me that show must go on routine. Uh, does Al know you're leaving? Makes no difference. Wait. Hey, Pop. Yeah? Go up to Al Graham's dressing room and ask him to come down here, will you? Okay. Now, look, there ain't no point What's in having him... this time, May? Eh? I just can't stand working with the guy. It's your husband. He's also a comic. That I can't put up with. Honey, will you tell me what happened? It's just dripping water. I step on his last, he says. I sing off keys, Ted. Oh, every comic's that way. You can't walk out for a little thing like that. No, that ain't why I'm walking out. Oh, what's that? Guys. Huh? He's got a new thing now. Guys. He thinks I'm flirting with the tenor in the flash Well, are you? Are you kidding? What would I want with a tenor? Well, what makes her think you're flirting with him? This tenor thinks I got talent. He tells Al that. Right away, Al thinks the guy's in love with me. Oh, and the whole fight is on account of that? Yeah. But it was just one fight too many. If you think I'm going to let any black-faced comic, even if he's my husband... Hey, excuse talk... me, Mr. Walton. Oh, yeah, Pop. And Mr. Graham can't come down. Why not? He just ain't able to. How come? He's got a knife in his back. <gasps> he's dead. <laughs> Chief? Yes, Miss Manil. You said you wanted me to take a description of the body here? Oh, yes. Well, you may put down. He's tired in dressing gown. Uh-huh. Wearing black face makeup. A wig. Can I come in, Chief? Oh, yes. Come right ahead, Hank. Have you finished the examination? Uh, more or less. Yeah? Any prints on that knife? No. Well, they called off the performance tonight. Mm-hmm. I told them you'd be questioning a lot of people. Good. What's the story on this man here? Well, he was a vaudevillian. Black face comic. Well, of course, you'd see that. Yes, yes. He did an act with his wife. Where is she? Downstairs. She did kind of a breakup when she heard about the guy getting it. Oh. I told him to send her up when she felt a little better. Good. I got a few witnesses outside the dressing room here if you want to see him, Chief. Well, who's there? Well, the doorman, he found the body. Mm-hmm. A guy named Walton, he's the manager, and the wife uh, when she's ready. All right, have the doorman. Come in. All right. I'll finish that description later. Sir. Okay. Come on in, Pop. Yes, sir. This is the doorman, Chief Pop Bradford. How do you do, sir? How do you do? You discover the body here? Yes, sir. Can you tell us how that happened? Sure. Uh, Mr. Walton, uh, he's our manager, uh, asked me to come up here and tell 
my dead fellow there to come down on stage. I knocked on the door, and when he didn't answer, I opened it and come in, and I seen him lying on the floor. Uh, pull back that covering, Harrington, would it be? Yeah, right, Chief. There we are. Uh, was he in the same position when you found him? Uh, yes, sir. Ever see that knife before? Sure. You did? Of course. When? In the prop room. Been there for years. Now that's the room where they keep stage props. That's right. Uh, have you got any idea, Pop, who might have done this to him? Nope. Did you hear any disturbance or argument before the stabbing? Mm, nope. And any strangers enter or leave your stage door? Nope. Yeah, in other words, you don't know nothing about it. Yeah, that's right. Very well. And then we all now. Yes, sir. Uh, don't leave the theater, Pop. We may call on you again. Why should I leave the theater? Well, I'm paid to work all night here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, have that manager come in. Yeah, sure. I'm taking all this testimony down, Chief. Yes, that's fine. Would you come in, Mr. Walton? Yeah, yes, yeah, sure. This is Mr. Walton, Chief. Oh, How do you do? You're the manager here. That's right, sir. Do you know this man who was killed? Yeah, sure. Good little comic. Yeah, when did you see him last? Alive, you mean? Yeah. What else? You told me downstairs you didn't see the body. That's right. Well, when did you see him last? Um, during the supper show. How long have you known this man? Oh, on and off for years. They played here three or four times. Mm -hmm. How'd you get along with him? Fine, fine. Hey, look, you don't think that I... Wait, I just asked you a question. You were very good friends. Have he had any trouble with any of the other performers or anyone who works backstage? Well, uh, that's a good question. Yes, he did. Who with? His wife. What was it about? Well, they've always fought more or less. All two acts do, especially when they're married. Yeah, what was this fight about? Well, he was jealous of his wife. She was walking out on him. Mm. I found her leaving the theater. That's why I sent for him. What was this jealousy based on? Well, he thought she was going for a guy who sings in one of the other acts on the bill. What's his name? Kent. Tom Kent. He's a tenor. How did you know about this? His wife told me. Mm -hmm. You say you found her when she was leaving this theater? Yeah. Did she use this dressing room, too? No, she was in a room on the other side of the stage. Well, ain't it customary for a man and wife to dress together? Yeah, but like I told you, the Grams didn't get along so good, so I separated them. Come in. Um... Do you want to see me? Are you Mrs. Graham? Yeah, that's right. Yes, come in, please. Yes. I'm the district attorney. Uh-huh. You know what happened, of course. Yeah. We've just been asking Mr. Walton here some questions. He, uh, he happened to tell us about a fight you and your husband had. Uh, could you give us a fill-in? I guess so. Well? He thought I was flirting with a tennis. Were you? No. What made him think you were? Comics are liable to think anything. They ain't like normal people. And you were walking out on them on account of this fight? I guess so. Then why did you... <clears throat> hey, hey, what's this? What's the matter? That body on the floor. Well? That's supposed to be my husband? Yes. Why? That isn't him. Huh? What? Take that wig off him. It's okay, lady. There we are. My husband doesn't have blonde hair. It's Tom Kent. I just called headquarters, Chief. Mm -hmm. I had him check, send out an alarm on that guy, Graham. Oh, well, that's fine. I also checked again with the doorman. He swears Graham didn't leave this theater. Well, there are other exits. The stage door is the only way out. Yeah, that's true, but I sent a couple of detectives search around backstage here anyway. What did you do with Mrs. Graham? Oh, she's downstairs in the green room with that Walton guy. Mm -hmm. I got a cop with him. Yeah. Chief, mm -hmm. why do you suppose a doorman didn't recognize a body here as not being Graham? Well, it was quite a natural mistake when his black face makeup on and a wig. Yeah, yeah, sure. And he's laying on his stomach. His face is only partly exposed. Well, why did Graham bother to put a makeup on this man? Well, it's very simple, Miss Miller. He figured it'd take time before the real identity of the guy was found, and that gives him a head start for a getaway. I see. Well, all we got to do is nail Graham, and this case is sewed up. We got motive and all. You mean the jealousy angle? Sure, the jealousy. We... Hey, hey, Chief, what are you doing there? 
I'm just figuring out something. Yeah, what? Well, now, first of all, I believe the makeup and the dressing gown were put on this man after he died. Huh? You notice the tear in the back of the robe? Yeah. It was made to slip over the handle of the knife. Oh, yeah. It would also seem that he died immediately. And there's just this one blood stain here on the floor indicating the man didn't move. Yeah. Well, now, here's what puzzles me. Mm-hmm. Hey, look over here on the other side of the room. Yeah, what is it, Chief? Blood stains on the floor <laughs> and also on the windowsill. Hey, that must be how the guy got out. Graham? Sure. Yes, but these aren't the cursory stains that a man would have on his hands after killing. They're quite pronounced. Yeah, like maybe he was bleeding. Yes. I don't see how that would be possible. This man was stabbed from behind. No sign of a struggle. Well, it could be that the... Uh, what? Huh? what was that? Hey, sounds like the old doorman. Come on. Yes. Yes, that is the doorman. Yes. Hey, wait. All the stage lights are up. Is that a flashlight, Harrington? Yeah, sure. Here we are. Here we are. The steps are right here. What do you suppose has happened? I don't know, but it ain't good. Here, watch your step on these stairs. Yes, we're all right. Just keep going. Right. You okay, Pop? He doesn't answer. No. Yeah. Stage door's right over this way. I'll just lead the way. Hey, hey, look. What is it? The old boy stretched out on the floor. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, old timer, now just don't try to move. Him. Stop him. What's wrong? What happened? He hit me on the head and got away. Who? Al Graham. <laughs> How do you feel now, Mr. Bradford? I uh, guess I'm a bit better, thanks. Oh, good. Uh, Chief, could I have some more water? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Here you are. Oh, that's fine, thank you. You sure you don't want a doctor here, Mr. Bradford? Nope, no, no, uh, I'll be all right. I'm just done, that's all. Oh, you, you put the lights on. Mr. Harrington did that. They've been turned off on the switchboard over there. Oh, that's what I figured, yeah. Oh, Chief? Yes, we're over here by the state and tower. Oh, okay. Well, how's the old boy? He's much better. I've just done a checkup around backstage here to see where Graham might have been hiding. Yeah? I stopped by in the green room. What do you think? What? Mr. Walton, the manager, ain't there. What happened? Oh, he conned that cop I left in charge to let him go out to the box office. When was this? Well, Chief, as near as I can figure, it's right before the lights go out. Let's see. Did he go to the box office? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I just called. He's out there. Uh-huh. Well, what about Graham's wife? Oh, she's still in the green room. Oh. Uh, uh, Pop. Uh, yes, sir? Yeah, tell me, Pop, did you actually see the guy who assaulted you? Well, I thought I did. Mm-hmm. Were the lights on or off at the time? Mm, it was off, I guess. Uh, it was dark here then when you were slugged, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Pop, then you don't know for sure if it was Graham or not. Well, I ain't sure, but... What's your point, Harrington? My point, Miss Miller, is that I talked to a cop who's stationed out in the alley, and someone did come out there. It was Mr. Walton. Now, I understand Graham was a little guy, and Walton's a little guy, too. Now, Pop, you, uh, you could have mixed them up, couldn't you? Uh, no, but I, I still say it was Graham. Yeah, mm-hmm. all right. I picked up a filler on Walton from one of the stage hands, Chief. Yes, what was that? He had a fight with Tom Kent, that tenor guy, yesterday, right here on the stage. You sure? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. Three or four people heard it. Well, I think you should go out to the box office and have a talk with him. There's something I want to look into back here. And check with me when you finish. <laughs> Oh. What's the idea, Walton? Of what? Of sneaking out here. What do you mean? I told you to stay back there in the green room. I had some business to attend to. Yeah? Like what? 
canceled the show tonight. That meant a lot of refunds. I have to take a look at the receipt. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you ask permission? I did, from the cop. I mean, from the district attorney. Well, I didn't figure we were playing school. Oh, oh you didn't figure we were playing Well, well, well. This ain't playing school, Walton. There's a murder mixed up in this. I know that. Now, how did you come out here? The backstage, of course. To the stage door? No, one of the fire exits on the side of the theater. Uh huh. Were the lights on backstage when you left? Yeah. I suppose you don't know nothing about what happened to the doorman. No. Oh. Well, what's wrong? Well, the lights were turned out and he was slugged. Oh, is he all right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's all right now. Oh, how did that happen? That's what I'm asking you. Whoever gave it to him got out the stage door into the alley. Look, are you trying to pin this on me? You were seen in the alley? I didn't touch... Well, who did? How do I know? Look, if I was beating it out of here like you're suggesting, I wouldn't be here now, would I? Oh, yeah, yes, you would. How do you figure that? That cop in the alley would have kept you here. There's another cop in front of the theater. He'd have stopped you if you tried to leave by the front. You cased that out and decided to stay. Oh, stop talking like a straight man. You're very funny, Walton. Look, what about this fight you had with the tenor, the guy who was killed? Who told you that? One of the stage hands. Okay, so I had a fight with him. Well, that don't make very good character for you. Listen, I had nothing to do with that killing. Well, let us be the judge of that. Come on backstage. I want to finish here. Look, Walton, there's another straight man who'd like to talk to you. The district attorney. Chief is up here in the dressing room, Harry. Oh, that's good. I left Walton down there with that cop. Oh? How'd you make out with him? Well, I think he knows something. Really? Yeah, I'll let the chief pick up from there. Wait a minute. Hmm? Isn't this the room here? Yeah, sure. That's it. Go ahead. Thank you. Hey. Where's the body? Oh, the chief had it taken to the morgue. Yeah? Where's the chief? Well, I saw him come in here. Huh? You sure? Sure, I was watching him from down on the stage. Hey. Hey, what is this? Oh, I don't know. There's no other way out of here except... Hey, look, that window's open. Yes. Something screwy here. Chief. Oh, Chief! Yes, Hanson. What? Where are you? I'm down below here on the fire escape. What oh. in the world is he doing down there? Right up. Oh, okay. Gee, I got a, I got a scare for him. <laughs> Me too. I'm doing a bit of exploring. Well, we didn't know what happened here. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh, it's all right. I'll make it. Uh, there we are. Oh, Chief, look at you. You're covered with dust. That's all right. It shouldn't rush right off. Yeah, here, yeah, I'll help you. All right, thanks. I got Walton downstairs, Chief. I, I think you'll want to talk with him. No, I'm sorry, Harrington, but I don't believe I will. Huh? Why not? I'm releasing all the suspects in the case. What? Chief, did you find the murderer? No, but I believe I can. Oh, Chief, I don't get you. You will. Let's get downstairs. Come right over here, Mrs. Graham. Okay. The uh, district attorney wants to talk to you. More questions? No, I don't think so. Uh, Chief, uh, here's Mr. Graham. All right, fine. Well, Chief, that brings them all together. Yes. Well, what happens now? I'm letting you go home, Mr. Walton. It's about time. Say go for me? Uh, Yes, Mrs. Graham. You can grab a powder, too, Pop. These are my working hours. Nice day. Oh, okay. We're going to concentrate on our search for Graham. Oh, I must ask you all to be available for questioning again in the morning, though. Sure. Okay. If you should find Al, I wish you'd let me know. I won't sleep much anyhow. Yes, we will, Mrs. Graham. Well, come on, Miss Miller. Yeah, all right. Well, can I go back out to the box office? Yes, go right ahead, Walton. Here, I'll get the door. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah. After you, Chief. Right. Well, now where do we go? Back into the theater. Huh? But this time we're using the fire escape. Mr. 
This is the level we want. Okay, Chief. Now we we get in through this window right here. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you up to window climbing, Miss Miller? Sure. What's in here, Chief? The top of the room. Isn't Graham's dressing room right above this? Yes, that's right. Well, I'd better go in first. Right. There we are. Now, um, give me your hand, Miss Miller. Right. There. You make it hang? Yeah, sure. Uh, how about lighting this place? No. No, we'll have to remain in the dark. We'll stand over here behind this creek. Fine. Oh, better close the window. Oh, okay. Okay. Why are we here, Chief? You looking for something? Uh-oh. Oh, we're waiting for someone. I honestly don't know who to expect. But whoever it is should be along soon. Where's he coming from? That door leading out of the stage. Huh? Uh, have your flashlight ready. Yeah, okay, Chief. Whoever appears should be on the... Real? Honest? Yes. Well, if any... What is this? It's the old doorman. Yes. Yeah. Hold on there, Pop. Stay where you are. Let go of me. Stay What's in that box he was taking? The body of Al Graham. What? No, no. Oh, no. They're taking him down to headquarters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our catching Pop Bradford in the act of removing Al Graham's body enabled us to obtain a confession from him to the killing of both Graham and Tom Kent. Because of a mental condition, he wasn't sent to the electric chair. However, he will spend the rest of his life in a state institution. You know, Chief, that old guy sure had me fooled. (laughs) Why don't you tell how you pegged him? Well, Harrington, as I told you in the property room when we were waiting for someone to appear, I didn't know for certain who that person would be. But you did know Graham's body was there. Yes, Miss Lamb. I discovered that earlier as a result of examining those blood stains I had noticed near the window in Graham's dressing room. I followed their trail out of the window and down the fire escape and into the prop room. There I found Graham's body stuffed into a large covered box. Uh, The body had been dragged there. Yes. But I wasn't certain who had done it. And that's why I suggested our leaving the theater. I knew this hiding place could at best be a temporary one. I felt that, given the opportunity, the killer would attempt to move it to a more permanent spot. Which he tried to do. Yes. Uh, How about the motive for the killing, Chief? Well, we learned that when the old man confessed. It seems that in his younger days, the doorman had been a singer, quite well known, as a matter of fact. And Tom Kent, the tenor, knew this and used to kid the old man about the croaking attempts he made to sing backstage. And Bradford developed a great hatred for Kent. And in his warped mental state, he conspired to get revenge. He overheard the argument that Graham had earlier that evening after the supper show over Tom Kent. And so Pop Bradford decided to take advantage of it. He saw Al Graham leave the theater. He then told Kent that Graham wished to see him in his dressing room. And when Kent came there, the old man let him have it. Yes. But while he was fixing up the body, Graham came back. Well, that's right. So the old man killed him as well. Pupils was tonight's murder lesson in a mystery playhouse. Thank you, Mr. District Attorney, for presiding over our class this evening. Thank you. <laughs>